What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning on the left side of the map in the red color playing as Zeus is Hell's Ravage. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Odin is Odin King. I almost said playing as Odin King is Odin, but that kind of makes a little bit of sense, I guess. But uh, this is interesting. We're seeing an Odin versus Zeus on the map Blue Lagoon. Uh, Hell's obviously a very old player, been playing this game for a very long time, has a lot of skills. I know nothing about Odin King, uh, so we'll see what he can pull out. But Odin's been um, been having a little bit of a uh, little bit of play recently, as people have started coming up with some uh, interesting uh, strategies with Odin in order to use utilize his strengths. We'll see what he can pull out here. I do like Zeus against Odin on this map, just because Centaur is so hard to deal with. If I'm Odin King. And I need to defend against Centaur. Like, look at the walls you have to do. You have to do a wall here, a wall here, a wall here, a wall here. That's just to secure your base, right? And then you still have to go, oh, if I've done that, then I get no hunt, no hunt. And I get none of this right here. So um, Hells can put on a lot of pressure just by going for a simple Centaur strangle. Uh, and it's really hard for Odin to defend against it. Uh, options for Odin against that strat, I don't really know. Like you can just go uh, pure raiding cavalry and get pierce upgrades and try and catch out the uh, centaur, or potentially you could go for a like a fast heroic style thing through Scardi and use your frost giant to um, catch out some of the centaur. But Herso aren't really a good a good um option against them because they're just too slow to do any damage and if you micro the centaur well enough it's really hard to kill them yeah this is actually this is actually one of the matchups which i think um uh really shows or highlights odin's weaknesses so we'll see if hells can come up with anything in order to uh put the pressure on to odin king or if odin king's got something that he can teach me in this game um we are seeing the standard three villagers would Two villages gold. Potentially a third villager going gold here. We don't see this a lot, but this villager could simply just build that temple up um, as soon as that house is finished. So that's probably what's going to happen there. Oh no, no, what's going on here? That village is going to the wrong place. Nope. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe everyone's just going to chill on that gold mine and we're uh, going to be happy about it, but still no temple. Um, potentially the other option for Hells is he could just like screw all of that away and just go Athena. Uh, and if he goes Athena Rush, that's still also really hard for Odin King to defend because he's got this exposed gold mine here. Let's say you wall off here, right? Then what do you do? The Hoplite come in, they bash down the, the wall. The Minotaur comes in, he bashes down the wall and he moves in and he tries to push off this gold mine with, with Restoration and kills this Sentry Tower or potentially a Watchtower with Restoration. And it's like, well, that's going to be hard to pick off there. So Odin King has to, has to realize this gold mine's bad. He needs to advance really, really fast, which it looks like he could be doing. Like he's got this temple up a little bit late. So it's looking like it's going to be like a 3.30 advance time here. Uh, and he needs to put the pressure on to Hell's just in case the Athena Rush is coming. And then if the Athena Rush doesn't come, he has to deal with uh, Centaur somehow. So we'll see what actually what Hell's actually has uh, in store here. He's getting that Jason out. So still going to be sitting in this Classical Age for a little bit longer. I would have liked to be seeing him advancing now. There's not a huge reason for this Jason to be out. Let's check the relics. We've got Scarra's Pendant, which isn't that good. And we've got Harder's Folly, which isn't that good either. So this Jason is simply being used as early pressure onto his opponent. And while that's good, it's all fine and dandy, um, advancing fast and putting the pressure on against Norse is like so much more important than just a little bit of harass. Uh, I guess you can scout with it. What, how's your scouting going? He's looking for stuff, but um, we still got the giraffe in the base uh, and we do have an elephant here, which we can lure into this location here, I guess. Uh, but we are seeing, oh, we are seeing the Athena rush is coming. So villages need to start moving forward. And you want to chuck the barracks up or military academies up nice and close to your opponent. Uh, Odin King going through Freya, so no Heimdall, so no access to Iron Hiar, but we are going to have access to Valkyries, and that does force uh, something to have to stay at home. And that's normally the Odysseus, right? If you see Freya come up, we build forward, we build an Odysseus at home, Odysseus at home to defend against that Valkyrie, and we see what happens there. The Jason just having a poke in here, not going to do any damage. He's going to have to get out of there. We're seeing some more of those. Um, those 
Herso getting pumped out. I hope he doesn't build too many of these because they really don't help that much against um, against Athena. And we are seeing Odin King respect uh, any sort of early attacks here. He's going to be grabbing these berries until he feels safe. Has he spotted? He has spotted the elephant though. So I don't, I'm not sure. I feel like grabbing that elephant is completely safe. Um, at least for the time being. We are going to be seeing military, two military academies and an archery range coming up right now. Uh, if you advance this late, well, he's missed his houses as well. That's not good from Hells. If you advance this late, you can definitely afford to chuck up two archery ranges. So 515 is the, it's kind of, it's kind of the old, um, what do you call it? It's kind of the old strat. Uh, 515, kind of the modern strat is 430 and you go these buildings. Um, but if you go 515, you have an extra uh, four villages or something, three or four villages. So you can afford the uh, second archery range with the spam uh, on, on Toxotes, uh, Hoplite from two, to, from all those buildings there. Um, but we're not seeing that one just yet. So he's gonna have to build that one up at some point. Definitely needs to keep remember to build those houses. Essentially, once you build a house using this strat, you need to just keep building those houses. Otherwise the population just gets cut and that's gonna be difficult to defend there. We are seeing uh, Odin King being very, very defensive. He's got the watchtowers up. Uh, I'm just hoping Hells just comes in and just chills right here with, with Toxotes and just pushes off this gold mine. That's really all he needs to do. We are seeing raiding cavalry coming out for Odin King. So he's gonna be looking for something to attack, looking for something to kill. But if we check out his, uh, his map map um, knowledge at the moment is very poor. He's gonna have no idea there's hunt villages here. Could potentially send the raven over on this location. Um, generally what I like to do with those ravens is I send them down to the corner, move them in, then move them back out. Um, so I don't look in their base at all. We see what happens there. But we are moving in with these hoplites. He's got a couple of toxotes and he's got this Odysseus coming. So this is actually gonna be very difficult to defend against as as Odin King. If we check out the population for Odin King, it's 53 population to 60 population. So it's relatively similar, but we have the double Minotaur here. And they can move in and just really put the pressure onto these dwarves. If we check out Odin King's resources as well, he's got no gold in the bank. So if he gets this cut just a little bit, it's very, very hard for Odin King to survive here. He's gonna have to retreat here actually, just because he doesn't have enough toxodes. Could have been potentially like, because he chose to build the early second mine, so it could have potentially been better to just go three archery ranges, one, one um, military academy and then go from there. But uh, we are seeing forest fire gets cast and uh, Hells is gonna have to move over onto this location here, and that's totally fine. Red and Cavalry are gonna be searching for something, and we are seeing Hells move in for this attack right now. So it's gonna be looking for some, some kills here. It's always a good idea to pick off this Ox Cart. If you can pick off this Ox Cart, that really, really slows down the gold economy. So I'm expecting this, well, I, I'm expecting the Ox Cart to go down, but he, he's going for the Temple instead. And the Temple is actually a, it's a decent choice there. That does stop Valkyries. It does stop Hersa from pumping. And now we're just gonna see Hell sitting in here. He does have access to uh, to restoration as well, which he is gonna to use to try and save this Minotaur. Hit Q, you gotta you gotta hit the stop command on your Minotaur so that he heals faster. The, the heal works the same as um, as pre, uh, as Pharaohs and priests rehealing stuff, so that if those units are moving, it um it heals slower, but because the heal is so fast, if you stop the units moving, uh, and they just like, they basically are invincible. Uh, it's a nice raid there that happened from Odin King during that attack. He did some damage, but uh, Hells is in the base on the gold mine right now. And we are seeing this Cutoscope kind of Scout, which, oh, did he spot that? Hells needs to have spotted that. Sure, oh man. What are you doing, man? Can go for the uh, can go for the town center though. Um, gets the toxotes to pick off the uh, the throwing axemen, and then these minotaur can just tank that town center. But we're checking out the population count. It's only 78 population. You kind of don't want to be attacking just yet. There's a lot of idle. Oh man, if you have those seven hoplite there, this town center could go down. Oh man, and if you can just cancel both of these hoplite and then get medium infantry, this this game would be very very hard for for Odin King. But we are scouting out this gold mine is getting uh, gathered from right now. So Odin King is still surviving, just sitting on this location here. But we've got the units moving around right now. He's got seven hoplite, three toxotes. That's gonna be more than enough to kill off those raiding cavalry. And we are gonna see, ooh, Hells is moving through the base. He's gonna take a lot of damage from those throwing axemen. But as those are getting, uh, as those are chasing these units here, the army is moving in onto that gold mine. That's gonna force Odin King off this gold mine and then he's gonna be out of gold yet again. So every single moment that Odin King is out of gold, that's like 
so much more population that Hells can get in front. But unfortunately, it looks like his economy isn't in the right situation. He's got a lot of idle villagers, needs to get them back to work. And you want to go for a 10, 10, 10 with this, with this, um, with this Athena rush, 10 villages food, 10 villages wood, 10 villages gold. And then you just put villages on wood and then you can get to the heroic age at 12 minutes with full population. That's It's a very simple economic uh, economic build there. And we are gonna be seeing the army of Odin King is gonna be able to actually defeat this army that is kind of chilling on this location here. There is so many throwing axemen here. So Hells is gonna have to move in yet again and get all of these units to move over here. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just cut these guys up and just move the hoplites. They have a speed bonus over the toxoids, but the uh, Minotaur can just chill on the line of those throwing axemen. Actually, the throwing axemen focusing down Jason instead of the, the, um, the hoplites is a mistake right there. You wanna be uh, killing off those uh, those units you can kill fast. The Jason is not actually doing that much damage. He's actually doing only two more damage than the hoplite and you kill, kill more hoplite in the time it takes to kill a Jason. Uh, but Odin King gonna try and get these longhouses up to create another wall here, but these guys can just move in and just pick those off so fast. There's, there are a good amount of Toxotes here. Five Toxotes here are, are kind of enough to really make Odin King think about whether or not he wants to be attacking, but I would love to see that second archery range get thrown up. We're seeing this location is getting gathered from yet again. Uh, and we can just move some some of these, just we don't need to send that many units up there now. We can just send a couple of units up there, force the army to move up here, and then just attack the town center and go for that win. Um, we'll see which one he does choose. We are seeing these throwing axemen getting a little bit anti here, trying to like pick off these units here. But I wonder, I think you get a little bit of a bonus from having this kind of high ground here as well. So if the Toxotes are shooting from the high ground, I think they get... A, I'm not sure if that, that might be a completely different game I'm thinking of. And then generally you don't see these um, high ground uh, locations playing too much of a role. But Oni King's doing a nice like fake out here. Even though, uh, even though Hells knows that this location is being um, gathered from, he's like faking out by going to this gold mine. But Oni King really just doesn't need to, doesn't, you don't want to fight until you have like 115 population generally as Norse. If Oni King can get to that 115 population, this army, it doesn't look that terrifying. It looks like Norse can kind of fight it back against it. Uh, but we are seeing a couple of units moving in onto this gold mine yet again. We're seeing some watchtowers getting thrown down and we've got a wall plucked up right here to give him the time to get this one up. So I like this. This is gonna be potentially problematic for Hells. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to actually push through on that. He does have a lot of hoplite. He does need to get medium infantry as well. And he needs to get some more toxotes out uh, in order to take that location if those if those towers get up. And he's also chucking houses up as well to protect these towers, which I really do like. Um, and he's kind of only got a couple of uh, to toxoids here to defend this gold mine. So he could be going for that one while he's chilling in this location here. But one tower up, the second tower is gonna go up again. These rain cavalry distracting these units for a little bit too long and that does allow uh, Odin King to get this second tower back up. So he can now move in. He's got so many hoplite, 20 hoplite right there and he's sitting at full population. So he want, you wanna be fighting right now. You don't wanna wait on this full population because the longer you wait on the full population, the uh, the safer it is for a Norse for Norse right now. So he can, oh, I like this. He's gonna split up his army, go around the side here, move back move, and jockey back and forth while he picks off these watchtowers. Um, potentially could have just chilled here with all the Toxotes and done that on this side and then attacked on this side. But we do see the Longhouse coming up to defend the back of this watchtower here. And that's gonna really stunt Hells at this point. So Hells needs to think about what is the next move. Probably not gonna get this gold star. Can definitely put the pressure on while you're doing this. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of toxotes here, and they're going to do so much damage here. But maybe too many throwing axemen does lose a couple of toxotes there for a couple of throwing axemen. So good trade, but um, not not exactly what you want there. We are seeing these hoplites moving around while all of these units are up here. He can just go for the town center. Is that what he's going to do? He's got them queued to this location. He could move in and go for that town center. These hoplites are essentially siege units. About, I think it's four or five hoplites basically equates to like a Petropolis worth of siege. And there's 20. So that's basically four Petropoli taking this town center down. And now we're seeing Odin King is completely out of position right now. And this town center is definitely gonna be falling. Um, and it does look like the village is getting pulled off the off the pigs there, but he's just gonna pick this location off and he's gonna be happy with that and just kind of potentially just leave, take the town center, leave. And then he's just gonna sit around here. Oh, maybe he's not. 
He's going for the villages here, but he's going to get out and this is going to give him a huge economic advantage. And also the, the big thing is it's going to stop Odin King from getting to that heroic age because uh, he's got the resources right now. Odin King's sitting at 800 food and 300 gold. So he could potentially go through Skadi. And not only that, he also cuts the population down to 100. So we'll see where uh, Odin King decides to rebuild the town. He's going for this town now. I like it. I think it's bold. It's aggressive. Uh, and it's not being spotted right now for uh, for Hells. So, oh no, it has been spotted by Hells. Okay. So he knows it's going up. What's he going to do as a response here? Uh, I would I would really like to see... Has he got the armory up? No armory up just yet for Hell, so that's no good. But I would I would like to see uh, Dionysus right now. Just go Dionysus, get the uh, get the bronze attack happening, and you'll be in a good position. Town center is up now for Odin King. Don't want to be building dwarfs. Want to be getting want to be getting that gold income to get to the heroic age. You need to get to Scardi as soon as you possibly can. Um, these throwing all these throwing axemen are a little bit out of position, but he feels like he's got a stronger army for some reason. He has no upgrades. Uh, no upgrades for Hells either, so both players, um, their army is not as strong as they think they are. I, I'm not sure, maybe Odin King does win this fight, but if the, if the Minotaur can just sit in there and tank some damage, it's kind of going to be okay. Uh, but we'll see what happens there, we're just going to be running around, we've got a lot of medium hoplite here. Oh, they may be able to catch out this location here. Looks like not paying too much attention. Maybe going to go for the armory, I'm not sure if that stops. I think once you build an armory... It doesn't matter. I think you can still advance to the next age. Oh, nice raid here. That's, these are farms are in a really awkward position. You never really want to do this. You can just uh, move the villagers back home. Um, it's always a risk to build build the farms around your granary there. But we're going for a second town center now for for Hells. Um, I generally generally against Norse, I don't think these fast these these like second town centers in the archaic age are the right option. Um, I think. Uh, I think going to the Mythic Age is generally better. We are seeing these units doing a lot of damage over here. We are got we have got the Toxo. They need to focus fire these throwing axemen. Get the boom or to boom monitor. Get that boom monitor into the line of those throwing axemen. Force Own King to focus his fire onto those medium hoplites. Oh, those throwing axemen are going to get picked off so fast as they're moving away so slow. Now he's finally deciding to turn around here. A little bit of an odd choice to retreat a little bit. He's still not in the range of that town center. All the town center is onto that bull minotaur right there. So he's going to be taking some damage here. And we are seeing, let's check out Hell's perspective right here. He does have 100 population still. So he's still going fairly good here. And all of these throwing axemen are going to be doing so much damage. Need to get those throwing axemen to focus those... Oh, sorry, those Toxos to focus those throwing axemen. The raiding cavalry can really screw with you seeing as they move so fast. But now Hells is on that second town center. He's going to have a little bit of a, more of an economic advantage over Odin King. But Odin King, so he can very much in this game right now. He can definitely just go to that next stage, which it looks like he's going through Skadi, which is good. Gives him a little bit of time to play with right now. We are seeing temples going up. We're seeing longhouses going up. And we are potentially Hells is going for this location yet again. Um, but I'm not sure if he can actually defend this right now. He's got the double bull monitor is so big. We are seeing these Toxos running in right now. They're trying to do as much damage as they possibly can. Pushing off this gold is huge because Odin King's got 95 favor. And the only thing he wants right now from uh, from this, this, this heroic age is... Um, is a uh, is 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 frost giants, and if he keeps that temple down, which is not up just yet, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be huge because that means no free frost giant, uh, and then no frost giants are beyond that. He's trying to get this temple up, gonna get that. He's gonna get that temple up in time in order to get that free frost giant. But with all of these bull minotaurs here, that frost giant needs to be four in order to really stop this. We we see the units go for the. Go for that, uh, go for that temple there. But the temple's up, and Scardi's going to be coming through, and he's potentially going to have to use Frost straight away. And he can't even, oh, he can kind of get all of these units, but he's trying to separate them as best as he can. Uses it right here, so he does manage to catch most of the Bull Minotaur here. So he should be able to get these. Um, oh, he's going for Rhyme first. Uh, I would have preferred to just get the Frost Giants out, but I guess he doesn't have the gold income just yet as he's moved back over onto this gold mine. And now we're seeing Hells move in with these Toxo. It's going to be trying to take out this location yet again. And Hells is so far ahead right now. Is he close to the next age? He's not that close to the next age. He could be uh, putting some more of those villages onto the farms. Uh, and we do have a nice raid right now from Odin King onto the gold mines while this... Uh, 
while this frost is going on. Want to get this? What are you doing? Get your get your frost giant to use that frost breath onto the bull minotaur. That's what you need. But it looks like the bull minotaur going to try and get out of there. We've got so many toxos right now onto this line of villagers, and the villagers are fighting back. And I think the I think the villagers will potentially win, or maybe they won't even win the fight. But these these toxos are going to do so much damage. They're just picking these guys off like nothing. Um, five toxos left. They have to keep on keep on retargeting every time they get a kill. And all of these gatherers look like they're going to be falling right now. We do have this uh, th therm. Th I can't. I, I have no idea. Thyrum. Thyrum frost giant is going to be picking off that minotaur right there. Um, that's going to be nice and juicy. And he's going to be moving on to something else fairly soon. We are seeing these throwing action getting a little bit antsy here and trying to keep Hell's Ravage in the Classical Age and doing the best as he possibly can to, to like try and staple that advantage he's got. But he needs to get he needs to get gold income and he's constantly moving between these two gold mines and. And to be honest, they're looking fairly low on the gold, even though we've got 1,600 here. If he runs out of gold here, um, then where's he going to go? He has to move all the way over to this gold mine or potentially over to this gold mine. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But Odin King's sitting at 74 population to Hells is 130. Has Hells? He's got another couple of archery ranges finally. Um, so that's going to allow him to get more of those toxos to deal with the uh, throwing axemen. I'm assuming those throwing axemen are going to get um, get that upgrade, which makes them really, really strong fairly soon. But he looks always oh, going for that, going for that mythic age with five villages on food and eleven villages on gold. We're going for like a Ragnarok. It'll be like a hundred and thirty population Ragnarok. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Bull Minotaur is getting, getting a little bit of poke damage there, but Hell's playing this one a little bit slowly. He can definitely grab this town center if he chooses, go to the Heroic Age. Oh, he's going for the second, third town center, so he wants to see, he's okay with sitting in this uh, in this Classical Age for a while. Um, Odysseus is going to be big right now in order to pick off that, that Frost Giant, and the uh, Blue Minotaur, look at that, trying to use his special ability as he gets frosted there, but not going to do anything because the Frost immediately... Uh, I think that animation is just like a little bit of an afterthought, which is pretty cool that they, uh, I've never seen it before. So that's pretty cool that that's a thing. Um, but it just, he does the animation and gets frosted. But see, another frost there onto the bull minotaur, gonna be absolutely huge. Gonna help out Odin King quite a bit here, but Hell's population over Odin King is gigantic as these frost giants are doing work, but they get picked off fairly quickly there from all of these units. We've got Jason coming out. Odysseus does get picked off, so these Frost Giants are going to be able to help out quite a bit. Definitely want to be focus firing these uh, these throwing Axemen as best as you can so that then he can't pick off your uh, your Jason. Um, and we'll see what happens there, but the, the he does manage to pick off two of those Frost Giants as more Frost Giants are getting queued up. And the big story is, it's just like Odin King cannot compete completely support these frost giants from spawning right now and there's just so many toxoids this gold mine is oh, oh no he's running through them he's running through the toxoids all of these villages gonna get picked off right now that's so much damage coming from those toxoids we do see that the uh frost giant is coming in yet again but using that frost breath on a toxoid not what you want to do you want to be focused firing those those um bull minotaurs as best as you possibly can uh and odin king needs to get out huskal right now with all of these uh toxoids rain cavalry unless you have a mass of them aren't very good but one or two or like five or six huskal really do absolute work against those toxoids and we are seeing a couple more picks off pick up villager pick offs right there as this game continues and hell's is hell's ravages economy is going to be in a really nice position right now we've got so many idle village idle military right now got to remember to shift click your idle military Military button, which it does look like he's finally done there, and he is going through Dionysus. So Dionysus is going to be huge. He's got 115 population, so he can build so many of those Skylar. And we are seeing that the hill fort is up, so this gold mine is kind of secured here, kind of I say, because uh, Zeus can just tear that down with a couple of hoplite if he's um, if he's lucky enough. But there's so many frost giants right here. You need to get that Odysseus out, which is at 99%, uh, and get there. We go. Nice, nice um, time in there. He can move in and help out in this location. Um, and be and be fairly effective there, but Odin King still holding on, um, not close to the heroic age. Oh, sorry, mythic age just yet. Ninety-one population, so he is climbing up there. He's going to be in a decent enough position, but it does look like the Frost Giant's going to be moving in. Dionysus coming in. Bronze getting used right now. Where is Odysseus? Odysseus are moving in, and do we have Hell's building that? Yep, Hercules. Oh, Heracles coming out straight away fortified town centers coming down as well so he's going to have even more population to play with there i'm assuming he's going to build um 
get like a heavy hoplites as soon as you possibly can. And he's gonna go for this location. I don't see any reason why not. Um, he does have access to the Hydra, which should be able to tear down this location, but that is pretty heavily countered by the Therm the Frost Giant. Other option for Hells is to simply just go straight to the Mythic Age, and you're gonna be in a decent enough position. Market is up as well, so you can sell that and go through Hera, and then and then just use uh, use that that um, Lightning Storm to seal the game there. Um, and he is going through Hera there, and oh, unfortunately that Hydra has got picked off. Uh, and he can just get two, if you just get two frost giants onto that, I think their um, special abilities uh, reheal by the time he comes out with with two on one unit there. But it does look like the uh, the scar is going to get picked off before he even gets thawed, which is nice. And these toxos are going to be trying to move in here, pick off as many of these villages as he possibly can. We still don't have any other gold mines right now mining for Odin King. And he is producing these Huskar, which is nice. So that's gonna help him out quite a bit, but his economy is now looking like it's it's needing more town centers basically. And Odin King just can't, it just can't support that. And we do see the Heavy Hoplite are out as these Toxotes are moving in. Hell's getting super close to that a Mythic Age and that's gonna really seal it. Uh, Hell's not happy with sitting here. He still doesn't have a Fortress, which I'd love to see in order for him to get some of those Helioplite. He's got some Heavy Haspis chilling in the back here. These Toxotes are just moving back and forth. The uh, Huskull doing a little bit of raiding here, but these villagers can just fire back. So it's got a Town Center fire as well. Still moving into this location. Gonna try and pick off these villagers as best as he possibly can, but uh, it looks like there's potentially enough here to defend, but well, as those Frost Giants fall to Odysseus, it's completely brutal. How is, he still doesn't have Heracles out just yet. Actually deciding to go for Hera over Heracles there. Uh, and then we see Lightning Storm going down. That's going to pick off so many of these units. And Odin King decides as Lightning Storm comes down to tap out. GG, well played there by Hells of Ravage. Nice try by Odin King. His map was a little bit brutal. It could not survive against the Zeus, the Zeus power of Athena. I didn't feel like Hells played it exceptionally by any stretch of the imagination. He played the map correctly. But I think uh, a couple of things could have been cleaned up there in the uh, build order uh, and all of that other good stuff. And Odin King um, didn't put the early pressure on that you need to put on to get Zeus onto the back foot so that you can at least have a decent game. Um, Odin does have access to early pressure onto gold, uh, onto food, sorry. So you can, um, you can push off food if they go for that later advanced time. Uh, and even if they have the Jason, if you don't have enough units out, you can really, really hurt uh, a Zeus player. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this game, please rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see my videos as soon as they come out. My name is Boyt, and I will see you guys next time.